Hey everybody, it's Swifty or Swiftly GFX here, and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. And today's tutorial, as it says in the title up above, we will be importing logos into Cinema 4D to make them 3D. So, first of all, I'm just gonna jump right into it. It's gonna be a pretty quick tutorial. It's quite a simple thing to do, but it's like it's like easy to learn, but a lot of people don't know it. So you just gotta know it, and then you get it right away. So first of all, we'll get out. Um, we'll get out, um, hmm, which one should we get? I don't really have an official logo yet, so I'm not really gonna do my own logo. We'll just do Phase Clan's logo and drag this into our new thing. So, once you get the logo or whatever you want to make 3D import into Cinema 4D. What you're going to want to do is actually, I'm just going to delete the background. Just go over to your layers right about there where my mouse is, right there. And then over on the thumbnail, press Control or Command on a Mac until you see right on the thumbnail, you'll see a little box come across the hand, click, and it'll just put a little magic wand tool crawling ant thing around your logo. And then from there, go to your marquee tool, right click, and make work path. And the tolerance, it should be on 2.0 or 2, and then press OK. And then It'll just make this little pen tool type thing around the logo. You probably won't be able to see it, but when you do it, you'll be able to see it. So go to File, Import, oh, Export Paths to Illustrator. My bad. Go to Export Paths to Illustrator, and then make it Work Path. Okay. And I'm gonna put it on my desktop and call it Phase Clan AI. And we'll save it to the desktop. Now we'll go ahead and open up Cinema 4D. Just give it a minute to open up. There we go. Should have had it pre opened for the tutorial, but I didn't, so that's that. Uh, while this loads, I'm going to tell you guys that on at 250 subscribers on my channel there'll be a, GF pa a GFX pack giveaway so go subscribe but now that we're here you can go to file open desktop or wherever you saved it phase client AI open it up press OK and there's your phase clan logo or your logo right there and then to make it 3D what you gotta do is just go over here to this little box, in, a green box inside of a bigger box. I don't really know how to say, describe it, but and then go to extrude nerbs and make Phase Clan a child of extrude nerbs. And then you'll see it'll make it 3D, and then you go to extrude nerbs and that the little movement, the last one is the one that judges how how um I don't really know how to explain it, I forgot. How how much depth it has, I guess. But how much three D it has to it. I I'm I'm sorry, it's early in the morning, I can't really think. But yeah, that's how you make your logos three D in Cinema four D and just export your logos from Photoshop to Cinema four D without Adobe Illustrator. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out getting logos 3D and uh, expect more tutorials on Zephyx Education though this is going on Zephyx Education and my personal channel so yeah expect more tutorials here on Zephyx Education and on my channel so thanks a lot guys for watching uh, throw it a like if it helped you and see you guys later